Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, says the Lord, and let the one who believes in me drink. For out of your heart shall flow rivers of living water. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires known and from you, no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment upon themselves. Examine yourselves, therefore, and call to mind your sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord.
How shall I repay the Lord for all the good things he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his servants. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with, you. with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The people then disputed amongst themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate, and they died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Christ. In the name of the living God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Today, we celebrate the Feast of Corpus Christi, the commemoration of the Eucharist, the body and blood of Jesus Christ. 
It is an unusual celebration, even in the Episcopal Church, but of course it does appear on the Church of England calendar. But I thought it was appropriate in our day that we should make use of this tradition, Corpus Christi. So obviously, we didn't get to give attention to the institution of the Last Supper that we normally do on Monday, Thursday. So I didn't think it would be too repetitive. But why I am attracted to this feast day in our time is because it points to the sacramental vision of Christian faith. What do I mean by that? What is the sacrament? Now, if you dig deep into your memory, maybe you can call forth from your church school days the definition of a sacrament, an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace. It's pretty expansive. It could mean many things. The bottom line is this. A sacrament is a person, place, or thing that makes another present without destroying itself. Yes, and the primary sacrament for Christians is Jesus Christ. Jesus of Nazareth, in his life, made God present, walked among us, shared our joys and our sorrows, but made God present. And today, we celebrate the gift of the Holy Eucharist. The body and blood of Jesus Christ made present for us in our celebration of Holy Communion. Now, of course, the old categories are a bit baffling for us today. They used to talk about substance and accidents and transubstantiation and all that. It's not that complicated. The substance is the underlying reality that gives something meaning and purpose. And that's what's changed. Not the accidents, not the outward appearances. So, you could look at yourself. What is your accidents? Your outward appearance? Because that's not your substance now, is it? Your substance, your person, or to use a more traditional category, your soul is your underlying reality, which finds expression in your accidents. What are the accidents? Well, you know, I've got my full-figured accident right here. I got blue eyes, white skin, brown hair. But they're not my substance. They're not my soul. They're not my person. They're not my spirit. When we think then of human beings, like Jesus, we can think of them as sacraments. Hmm? And why would that be? Well, we're all created in the image and likeness of God. Human existence is sacramental from the very beginning. It is the condition of possibility for the incarnation. What do I mean by that? Human existence is always open to being God's presence in the world. By opening your hearts and surrendering to God's will so that God may be present through you. And Jesus does that ultimately. Jesus is not alone. Many people before him and after have participated in making God present. And in these days, as we share the life of Jesus when we break bread and share the common cup, we share the life of Jesus. We too, as we strive to open ourselves to God, become sacraments of God in the world. We are the continuation of God's presence here. But the inside of that sacramental vision is that every human being is a walking sacrament 
potentially at least, doesn't matter what they look like, where they come from, how much money they make. All human beings, regardless of race, regardless of orientation, creed, whatever, the accidents of human existence, they are all sacraments of God. Recently, one of those sacraments lost his life due to racial injustice, George Floyd. But he is just an icon of the injustice in this world. The sacraments of God are being destroyed, belittled, disregarded. And we are called, if we do share the life of Jesus, in the Eucharist, to advance a kingdom of justice and mercy that raises up, respects, and protects every one of those sacraments. Again, these sacraments are nothing less than human life itself. So, as we celebrate the gift of the body and blood of Jesus, is it gives life to us. Let us share that life of God with all of God's children, with all of God's sacraments. Amen. Amen. Blessed, praised, hallowed, and adored be Jesus Christ on his throne in heaven, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, and in the hearts, minds, and deeds of his faithful people. Let us stand and reaffirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God and not made, but one, but one being with the Father. Father. Through him all things were made. For, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life for the world to come. Amen. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people gathered at your table. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Here, where we celebrate how Christ gave us his body to be our spiritual food, listen as we pray for his body, the church, spread throughout the world. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Here, where we, rec where we recognize the presence of Christ, who takes away the sin of the world, listen as we pray for that world and for its peoples for whom his blood was shed. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Here, where we come together as Christ gathered with his friends to give us this meal of holy fellowship, listen as we pray for all whom you have given us, our friends and all those whose lives are joined with ours. Today we give special thanks for the birth of Michael Romeo Barry 
And we pray that your Holy Spirit will continue to bless and guide Danielle and Mike as parents. In faith, we pray. We pray to you, our God. Here, where we remember the night of Christ's agony and trial, listen as we pray for all who share his sufferings through fear or pain or distress of many kinds, especially Greg Taylor, Danielle Norcross, Joe Brown, Danny Sharif, Leslie Cafrentes, Anthony Beatrice, Joan Kramer, Raymond, Mary, Karen, Barry Flynn, Phil Moore, Barbara Murphy, James Grady Fielding, Philip Moody, Michelle Farina, Daniel Barnaby, Maureen Brinkley, Linda Barnaby, John Papa, Jennifer Novia, Dan Kaspari, Barry Yaffe, Barbara Long, Liam Hood, Peggy Smith, Chris Wells, Bob Marino, Jack Blaze, Claire DeDemensis, Robert Castle, Rose Davin, Kay Valeri, Julie Murphy, MJ Perk, and all those we hold in our hearts before you this day. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Here, where we join our praises with the whole company of heaven, listen as we pray for all who have trusted Christ's promise to raise up on the last day those who eat his flesh and drink his blood, especially Bruce Armstead and May Holder. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Lord, satisfy our hunger with the food that lasts, the bread of God which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in his divinity, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of heaven. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Lord, accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of your name for our good and good of all this holy church. <clears throat> Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. <clears throat> we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving today with special intention for the repose of Bruce Amistad and May Holder. And our worship continues with Eucharistic Prayer B from the Church of England's Common Worship. The Lord be with you. And also Lord. with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Savior. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And now we give you thanks because, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And on the night before he suffered, sitting at table with his disciples, he instituted these holy mysteries that we, redeemed by his death and restored to life by his resurrection, might be partakers of his divine nature. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this, as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for all for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send your Holy Spirit on your people, 
and gather us into one in your kingdom, all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Blessed John the Evangelist, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, who has nourished us with himself the living bread, make you one in praise and love, and raise you up at the last day. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.